Hi, this is Andy Cernovitz, and I'm here with Brett Hurd, who's the CEO of Bizarre Voice. Hi, Andy. And so we've had an interesting conversation about, about reviews and not you know, how consumers read reviews. I think we all understand that, but how reviews on websites are impacting the companies that are hosting the reviews. Mm -hmm. So what, what have you guys seen? So it's been, it's been a pretty dramatic shift. Uh, when we first launched, there were only about three retailers in the U.S. that actually had reviews on their site. And we're all influenced by Amazon, and I think that that stat really surprises people. But in the last three years, we've seen this massive shift where more than 50 of the top 100 retailers now have reviews in the U.S. And one of the, the unexpected byproducts of that is that it has radically changed the way they merchandise. There's a recent story of one of our clients who stopped selling their number one selling product because of the fact that people were having a bad experience with it, even though they weren't returning it. It was one of their cheaper products and they decided, I'm just going to, you know, it, it basically cheapened the brand. Um, we've heard stories from clients like Walmart who have radically changed the way they work with vendors as a result of this type of information. And I think that's the true impact. And I'm, I'm an optimist when it comes to this. I think that this is going to lead to better products and services for everyone long term because of the accountability it introduces in the cycle. So, so, so merchants are actually reading consumer reviews mm -hmm. and then turning around to their suppliers and saying, these products aren't doing it for our customers. That's correct. It, one, one, one recent example is Petco. For anybody that writes a one or two star review, they'll actually call that person up. They'll call that reviewer up and say, we're really sorry you had a bad experience. Can we connect you with the vendor right now to help them fix this problem? And they've actually created joint design situations right there on the phone. And think about that experience if you're a customer, how radical that would be to you that you know, you've written a bad review, you had a bad experience, someone from Petco calls you, the next thing you know, you're talking to the manufacturer of that product, literally changing it. And this is exciting, because it says the, and this is the headline is, reviews are suddenly making merchants into consumer advocates. Yes, exactly. Merchants are becoming more consumer driven because of the fact that there is this accountability and there's not this bias when customers talk to each other, they're honest. They're, it's not a focus group. No one's putting a product in the center of a table and saying, um, you know, what do you think about this product and looking at them from dark, you know, behind dark mirrors. They're, these are real customers talking to each other. So it's a real time 24 seven focus group that, that merchandisers can tap into. And it's the, one of the most interesting things that I've seen with Bizarre Voice is that people, when, when clients first start out with us, they're getting their biggest pushback from the merchandisers who are scared of negative reviews. And one of the things I've seen is that merchandisers over time, and it doesn't take that long, over a period of about three to six months, actually become the biggest advocates for what we do because of the fact that this now gives them the tools they need to empower them to make better merchandising decisions, understand why that product's had a high return rate, and decide whether or not they want to stop selling it, um, understand why that product's flying off the shelves and you know trying to repeat that success instead of reinventing the wheel every time. Understand what that one missing feature is that would get customers to rate it a five star instead of a three star and therefore have a much more powerful experience and be much more incentivized to tell their friends to shop with that brand and to buy those products. Yeah, that's really interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andy.